Hey guys, welcome to my first devlog. As of right now, the game is nameless, but I hope to change this in the near future. In the background, you'll be able to see the game in its early development. I've currently made some environment props to see how the art style that I've chosen connects and feels. What I want to do in this devlog is go over the roadmap and explain what I'm about to do, and most important, why. I'll be taking uh, a somewhat unusual route. The reason for it being unusual is since I'll be working in reverse. It's very common to make a low fidelity or gray box prototype in order to prove your concept. Since I consider myself an intermediate artist, I'll be, ta I'll be making all the art and then make everything functional. I have a strong background in 2D art and UX UI design and I'm currently making tons and tons of progress regarding 3D art. However, on my to-do list are things such as rigging, animating and visual effects. These things are not new to me as I've done those things in 2D art field as well. But I've never done this in 3D space, which I'm very excited to learn by the way. Now let's briefly discuss the core gameplay of the game I'm working on. The game is rather low scope as all that needs to be made is three characters slash creatures in which one will be the main character and the other two will be enemies. Environment props, which is one of my strong points as I can combine 2D art with 3D art and all the animations and visual effects. Now the last mentioned task on the list is by far the most difficult one for me. These are also by far the most intuitive uh, interactions that the game will have and I will tell you why. In the game you'll play as a teenage boy set in the medieval era. You can gather resources by cutting down wood, mining and much more. This is crucial as the environment your character lives in will be merciless. Danger will be everywhere and will, increasingly, uh, signif will increase significantly as the night occurs. You must play smart and strategic. In the game, I want to appeal to two types of gamers, killers and explorers. This is based on a paper written by Richard Bartles, and what he discovered is quite essential to know when making a game. I can very much recommend diving into his work. To practice animation, I'll be making a lot of fighting animations. I also want to enable the possibility to use the environment. For those who have a sharp eye, might have noticed that the trees can be uh, that can be seen in the video are already cut. This is so that you can cut down trees, but I think it will also be really cool to use this in a defensive way or offensive. This feature can be applied on almost any props and will, and will add a really cool and new dimension to the game that you have to keep in mind and can take advantage of. For the explorers, however, since I'll be making all the art first, I'll be making a lot of interesting places to discover. I think of caves, underwater tunnels, secret doorways. There'll be a large number of materials to explore as well. Now the common materials will be essential to survive, but the rare ones will help you grow. Your camp, which will be almost non-existing when you start the game, can be upgraded. At the start, wood and rocks will be sufficient, but as you start to play more, you'll discover that the world your character lives in has a lot more to offer. For now, I'd simply like to thank you guys for watching the video. In the next devlog, I'll be showing you uh, a bit more regarding the concept art of the main character and the other enemy. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see uh, more and maybe learn a thing or two. Thank you.